like you know, to survive the jail. We're here with the uh, kind of passionate coalition, Access to Club, HempEvolution.org, California Normal, California Marijuana Party, the Libertarian Party of San Francisco to demand that Steve receive uh, he, he received the proper medical care while he's in custody. What's his health like over the past four days? Um, Steve is uh, he's experiencing rectal bleeding. Um, he's bleeding in his urine. Um, he uh, so his blood pressure is up to like 200 over 100. Um, he suffers from incredible uh, uh, fits of anger because there is an incredible amount of adrenaline that's being released in the system, and uh, he's very uh, angry most of the time. Can you talk to us specifically about what marijuana does to help Well, marijuana, the, the CBDs in marijuana, uh, marijuana has over 300 different chemicals in it. Um, as, as a part of the marinol, which is what we're giving them right now, which only has one constituent, which is THC. Uh, what it does is it helps to slow the tumor growth, and it keeps the tumors from releasing the adrenaline into his bloodstream. Is he so good at the he doesn't have very much hope. As a matter of fact, they won't even give him a Tylenol. He asked for a Tylenol because he's in pain. We won't even give him a Tylenol. We had to mount a call, call in campaign over the weekend and on Monday just so the man could get a pillow and an extra mic. He's cold, he's tired, he's hungry, he's, he's vomiting all the time. And that's why they moved him into uh, the solitary custody because he was vomiting so much and all the other inmates were becoming disturbed. What's going to happen to your movement if he does die? Well, I think that what's going to happen to our movement is that we're growing every day. But uh, I'm just thinking about what's going to happen to the Placer County Sheriff's Department, the Placer County Board of Supervisors, uh, and the Placer County DA. Hey, this, is, this is torture of this man. Um, I mean, admittedly, he might have fled custody, but you don't kill people that are in custody. You're basically, Placer County's right to death sentence. Jails uh, like this normally have their own medical staff, and uh, obviously they made a medical determination. Do you think something else should be I think that you can definitely get a second opinion. I know that in San Francisco, in San Francisco County, if a patient is seen to have a need of medical cannabis, as well as San Francisco County, uh, you know, to find their Well, Steve Covey was a co-author of the book, Governor, he made a drug war a big part of his platform, and uh, uh, he needs a lot to be moving. And, and the fact that he fled to Canada and that he's continuously fighting, right, that all gives us a little bit of hope because, you know, all of our patients here, a lot of us are fighting for our lives. Some say he lost a little bit of, of credibility because his, his conviction was, of, you know, for other drugs, not marijuana. Okay, well, what happened with that was is that, that they were actually, uh, he was under surveillance for growing medical marijuana, and that gave the police uh, an end to go into his house. And I'm sure that most of us, if the cops were digging around in our place, they might find something from years ago that we had no idea was there. Do you agree that the war on drugs is racist? Uh, I believe the war on drugs yeah. is very unfair, but it's racist. Uh, uh, I don't know about it. Steve Cubby's case, but I feel like he's getting... Uh, White man, black man, how about sick man? Right. Do you think you're... What if he goes four months and he doesn't have to be hurt? No. There's a lot of other people, there's a lot of other people that are being persecuted by the authorities. Like Steve, he just having to be more high profile. But we have plenty of cases and we have plenty of people to help and support. And even if he doesn't die, it's like, we're still going to keep on that. The judge's ruling that allows him to be used to marijuana, will that lead to more counties being forced to? Well, I believe that under uh, SB 420, which is law, that yes, yes, and they should. I'm not saying that every inmate, you know, you know, there's a question that you say that every inmate's going to line up and get line for his medical marijuana. Well, this is not going to happen because these people are under the care of physicians, and they, it's not like it's going to be marijuana based on it. Are you asking for some sort of House arrest. Yeah, we would like to see him taken out of custody and put into house arrest where he can get more proper medical treatment. Uh, we could have, have his physician come visit him and he would also do a home where in a much more comfortable physical surrounding. Is, is that practical since, since uh, the authorities might be able to fight with Well, he came back to turn himself in. <laughs> yes, I do. I believe that uh, the Placer County uh, guardians have targeted this man because he had such a high profile against the drug war. And these people, these are people like the district attorney's office, the, the deputy sheriff's department. These are all people that have vested interests in the drug war, right? This is how they get their paycheck. A lot of their budget comes from the drug war, the drug war budget. So it's like they're not going to, they're going to do everything they can to keep him in there and make him a target because he's standing up against these people. He's a high profile libertarian candidate for governor. He's also a, a noted political dissident. And I think that had something to do with it. Mm -hmm.